Okay, AP calculus, AB, particle motion with your TI Inspire CAS, CAS, CAS. Uh, this is off the 2004 uh, AB free response, and it says a particle moves along the y-axis, so its velocity is its velocity v at time t is greater than or equal to zero is given by v of t is equal to one minus inverse tan of e Euler's number to the t power. Find the acceleration of the particle at time is equal to two. So this is what I'm going to do to start with. First thing I'm going to do to start is I'm going to start labeling stuff here. A, it says find the acceleration. I'm just going to write this quick note to my AP reader that I know that this is the velocity function, and the first derivative of velocity is acceleration. And from there, I'm just going to plug, I'm going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to start working this out a little bit. So here we go. I'm using a CAS, TI Inspire. Uh, my my operating system is 3.2 or greater, so that's really important also. So I'm just going to type this in. I'm going to type in 1 minus. I'm going to go here to trig functions. I'm going to tr choose inverse tan. I'm warning you now that if you accidentally put t to the negative, uh, tan to the negative first power, it does not have the same meaning to your calculator. I'm also going to use e to the x, um, and it says e to the power of t, but for reasons that I'm going to describe in just a couple minutes, I'm going to use the power of x, if you don't mind. And then I'm going to do this, which is going to seem strange, but I know what's happening next. So I'm going to hit Control Store, and I'm going to call this, if you don't mind, V, velocity of X, not T. So just something to think about. And it says done. Okay, not very impressive. However, it gets impressive. From here, I'm going to go to Menu. Right, so Menu. I'm going to choose Calculus. Choose Derivative. Remember that I, we decided to keep this in terms of X. So X, and then of V of x and hit enter and here's this so everybody gets all freaked out and they're like <laughs> it says kosh at the bottom it's the inverse hyperbolic it doesn't mean much to us uh, it has to do with assigning angles please don't worry about it please don't worry about it it just provides the hyperbolic angle for that thing but you're not being tested on that what I will say to you is this. This is the derivative. This is a of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my up cursor. Then I'm going to hit enter, and it provides it here. And again, I'm going to hit control store, and I'm going to type in a of x. This is going to save you time, believe it or not. a of x, I'm going to hit enter, and it's done. You can do tons of stuff now because the first question was, what is the acceleration of the particle at 2? So I'm just going to type in. I'm going to ask the calculator a of 2. It says a of 2. I'm going to hit enter. Be uh, expecting this kind of weird answer. The reason that your calculator gives you an answer like this is because it's the most precise answer. However, the AP exam will give you rounding advice, and this is the 2004 free response, and they give you rounding advice to the tenth, to the one thousandth place. So all I'm going to do is hit Control, Enter, and it gives you that approximated value. They would accept the answer point a negative point one three two or negative point one three three. I like. Uh, negative 0.133, so I'm, that's what I'm going to write. I'm going to write is, and a of 2, because that's what they're asking us for, is equal to negative, one, negative 0.133. So far, so good. So that's my answer there. Then it says, b, the answer is, is the speed increasing or decreasing at t is 2? Well, I already know here that at a, at t is 2, acceleration is negative. So acceleration is less than 0. So I'm just going to go check that, and I'm going to go back to my calculator, and I'm going to take, remember we saved the velocity function, v of 2, again gives us this crappy looking answer, but if we hit control, enter, so hit control, enter, we get this value, negative 0.436. So V of 2 is negative 0.436. A of 2 is equal to negative 0.133. V of 2 is less than 0. 
a of 2 is less than 0. And we know if the sine of acceleration and the sine of velocity match, if they are the same, positive, positive, or negative, negative, we have speeding up. So we can say, therefore, particle speeds up. If you do not put these two pieces of evidence, you don't have a case. Because you, otherwise, you're just guessing, right? You'd have a 50-50 chance of getting the right answer. So this is the AP exam. They're not going to let you just guess. They're going to make you provide some, some proof there. Then it says here, find the time, t, at which the particle reaches its highest point. So this is what I did. This is how I did this. I did it this way. I, I, put, I used the solve function I put in. Solve V of X equals zero, comma X, which means in terms of X, hit, I hit enter. Again, gives me this crappy answer. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same thing we did before. Hit control, enter, and it gives us this value, 0. 0.4. Four, three. So look, I'm going to do this for a second. Let me just run over here for a second. I'm going to put in here t equals 0.443. I think was what I had. 0.443. Now, though, what I have to make sure is that I agree with that. Is that I agree with that. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to graph this. So I'm going to, I already have all the crap here anyway. I'm going to go to the graphs and I'm going to graph v of x. You see what I'm doing here? I don't have to type all this crap in 15 times. Type it in once, invest a little bit of time in the beginning of the problem, and get way ahead. So there's this. You can see, hopefully, you can see, hopefully, that this, remember, we only care about time is 0 to time is 0.443, because 443 is when it hits this, right? Remember, this is not the position. It's the velocity, and if you look at this for a second, let me go. To, let me try this little move here. This is going to work fine, and it did. If you look at this just for a second, we want time is greater than or equal to zero. That's from here to where time is 0.443. And if you look here, everywhere between here and here, the velocity is positive. This is a, a graph of velocity, right? This is a velocity graph. This is not the position. So don't look at it and go, oh, the position is moving down. That's not what the question is. Is this thing still moving up? Right? In our situation, we have vertical movement. And if velocity is positive, this thing is moving up. It doesn't move down. The velocity is not negative anywhere here. And that way, we can prove that this is a, this is weird, but this is an absolute max of position. So, we go back to our problem. We go back to our problem here. And T equals 0.443 is an absolute max. Highest point at T equals 0.443. So, hope this is really helpful to you. Hope this is really helpful to you. This calculator will really help you on the exam. The more you practice with these problems, the better you're going to get at it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, thanks, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe.